Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about route guards. I mean there should be a mechanism to protect our guards which we are writing in the code. So guard means we are writing these controllers, user controller, app controller. These routes like uh, hello forward slash, hello forward slash post, user controller where we have defined all these routes, these are not protected by anything, right? We might be adding one middleware which is just checking preconditions. So similarly at route level, how we can protect a particular route and we do some precondition checks. Like uh, the token is uh, authenticated, whatever you are sending in the headers, that is already authorized token. So all these things you can check with the help of guards. So you can create a custom guard, something look like this. So what this guard is doing is it is getting the access of current request and then it is validating that request, okay? So what we are doing here in this is we are just returning true, we are allowing it. But here, once you get the access to the request object, you can just do a lot of different things like roles validation. Here you can, from the request object, you can get the role and here you can do the pre-check. Okay, the role should be of admin, role should be of uh, uh, administrator and then only just return true or false. And this auth guard can be applied. So we have created this auth guard now. This auth card can be applied to your controller. Like here, we can use, I think, use pipe. Similarly, there should be use guard and new auth guard. This is how you can apply it. So, if you are applying it at the route level, you have to create the instance. You can also apply it at the controller level if you want to apply it for all the routes. You can just pass the instance because this is injectable service. It will take care of the injection to the controller. Either do this or if you are doing at the route level, you can create the instance. Both are same. Uh, NestJS will manage to inject the instance of this guard if you are using just a guard name. Otherwise, you can also provide the instance of that guard to that particular route. So this for this particular route, this guard will do some pre-validation check okay some routes are only allowed for a particular administrator and all here we will do in the validate request you are getting the access to the request object here you can check all the required things okay so this is about guard we have uh, we can just talk more about it so this is the role guard we have and we are applying role guard at the controller level or at the route level okay and you can also set it at the global application level using app.use global guard. This role guard will apply everywhere. Okay. Okay. Thanks everyone.